Do you wonder if you have insulin resistance? Well, with one blood test, you can find out the answer. In this video, we are going to talk about the homeostatic model assessment of insulin resistance, better known as the HOMA IR. So before we get started into that, though, we just returned from low carb Denver, um, where we saw some fantastic presentations, mm -hmm. got a lot of ideas and questions, of course, about, you know, um, more video topics and things that we can delve into. Um, but while we were out there, we had the chance to meet a lot of you that watch our channel. And I have to say that we were both honored and humbled yeah. by that experience. Um, and uh, um, awful lot of health practitioners out there too, which was awesome. See, was, and we met a number of them as well who are using this in their clinics. Yeah, so. yeah. And, and can I just give one quick? Yep. Um, last year, I think, I, I think it tripled attendance since last year. There were like yeah. 850 people there. So low carb keto, this is the movement and it's the movement because it works. This is the movement. Yeah, so let's talk about uh, insulin resistance really quickly if you aren't familiar. So insulin resistance, it is just an impaired metabolic response where your body, your cells are no longer responding to insulin. Uh, so insulin can't open the door of the cells and get glucose in. Glucose is what your cells want to use for energy. So uh, when you have insulin resistance, two things are going to go up in your blood, the amount of glucose or blood sugar and the amount of insulin. Right. So HOMA IR, homeostatic method of assessing insulin resistance. Uh, it's basically a computation where you're taking glucose, a fasting glucose and a fasting insulin level uh, you plug it into an equation and you get a number and that number will tell you, you know, you compare it to the range, kind of see where you're at, healthy, unhealthy, danger, whatever. Um, it takes a place, the original way of testing insulin resistance was uh, something they call a euglycemic clamp. So basically they stick you in the hospital, they'd put an IV in this arm and IV in this arm. And they'd run insulin in one arm and they'd run glucose in the other arm until they, they saw that things were starting to, to like balance out. And then they, yeah. they could assess that. I don't want to do that. No. This seems a lot easier. This seems a lot easier. Yeah. So how the HOMA IR test is done is with, uh, you still have to get a blood draw, but it's just one. Just one. And you, if you would like to get this done the next time you go in for your blood work, you have to ask your doctor to do, to do two things or have two things included in your blood work. Your fasting blood glucose and your fasting insulin level. Right. And those are the only two factors that you need. And then what you can do with, with those uh, is go to a website called thebloodcode.com. Yep. Uh, it's run by Dr. Richard Maurer. Yep. And uh, he has a calculator on there that you can plug in your numbers. Uh, so, and it is really as, as simple as that. Now, one small caveat for our international viewers, um, it is done in American units for blood glucose, so we're talking about milligrams per deciliter. Uh, if you are, though, uh, across the pond or elsewhere, um, there is a, an easy computation to figure out, figure out that on there, and we will link to his website. Right. Yeah, he's got the conversion factors right on there. It's pretty easy. And I do want to say, too, there are just tons and tons of research on the home IR. They've used it for different things. This one I thought was interesting. Uh, because it said that they've, they've looked at different HOMA IRs and found an association with um, coronary artery disease yeah. in non-diabetic, non-obese yeah. individuals, you know, people who think that they're healthy. So it is, it, they are using it in a lot of different things. Um, I would want to mention, though, that it, it is just a measurement, and, and a measurement in time, right? That snapshot yes. in time. It's like many other things, you know, you, you, you can't take your measurement and just base everything on that one time. It's good to get a, you know, a series of these tests. Um, if you're just starting keto or you're like me, you've been doing this for, you know, a couple of years, that's two different, very different metabolic states. Mm -hmm. um, and that's going to cause different things because you, you know, our whole goal here is to get insulin down. So get a baseline, you know, do it again, repeat it, you know, different intervals and just see where you're at. So Keith uh, had his blood work taken, though the last time he did, he had gotten his insulin checked. Unfortunately, I didn't. Yeah. Which would have been great because we always talk about how our, you know, we feel that you are more insulin resistant than I am. So I will get that done the next right, time. Right, right. Uh, but uh, the, the goal is to be under one 
uh, and then it, there's uh, there's little different ranges. So above 1.9, you have slight insulin resistance. Right, above, early, yeah, what uh, they say. Yeah, yeah. and above 2.9, you you have a strong uh, incidence of, of insulin resistance. Right. So why don't you go ahead and share what your results were? Right, and so and I, we should put this caveat on here too. I had my insulin tested, but I didn't yeah. even think about my fasting glucose because I'm testing my glucose all the time. Right. It didn't even pop in my head. So what I used was uh, my HbA1c, which is at 5.0, uh, which means basically a, a uh, uh, blood glucose level, fasting blood glucose of 97. So I used that number. So I plugged in my insulin um, number, which was 5, my glucose number, which was 97, and that gave me a HOMA IR of 1.2. Uh, so it says on here, this is from the blood code um, website, uh, the 0.5 to 1.4 is considered a healthy range. So according to that, you know, yep. that answers that that may answer some of my question about you know being insulin resistant. And a lot of you ask, you know, are can you reverse your insulin resistance mm -hmm. over time? This would kind of suggest that. Now we'll you know I'll continue to test this and yeah. see if it changes. But you know that that's a it's an encouraging sign. I it think. is. It is, and it's, an, it's another tool that's fairly easily accessible to us uh, to have in our toolbox. We sure have to bleed a lot, though, don't we? You get all these measurements. I know. Wouldn't it be better if it was something else? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. But, hey, thanks so much for watching. Uh, go ahead and get this tested the next time you have your blood taken. Mm -hmm. And I uh, hope that it was helpful. Uh, if it was, please subscribe to our channel. Love having you guys follow us and love working with you. Have a great day. See you next week.